Hey, it's Kevin from AppMap. I'm going to step through the sequence diagram and explain what the different notations mean. So I'll start with this vertical line here. Um, and you can see it's slightly been uh, thickened in this case. This is called a lifeline. It's a vertical line that represents an object or a component in the system. This one is, in, is representing HTTP server requests. I also have lifelines for other packages. Um, such as active record, and there's a lifeline for the database. So you'll see that all these arrows begin and terminate on a lifeline. And so um, that's how you know what the caller of a, of a function or event is and what that function or event is received or handled by. So at the top of each lifeline is the label, HTTP server requests, active record, etc. The activation bar is what it's called when you see this thickened line here. And um, that corresponds to initial receipt of this message or function, in this case, the create function. And then uh, the activation bar shows that this object, uh, or in this case, this package is actively handling this message until it returns with the return value here. Um, which is uh, of type string. So technically the uh, solid line here with the arrowhead is a message. Um, and then the dotted lines back is a return message. You'll also see some uh, funny indications here where the line ends up on the same, uh, the message ends up on the same lifeline as where it started. And that is a self message. So essentially a call to uh, by an object to itself, um, or in this case, a call that begins within a package and is handled within that package also. I've now expanded this diagram to show JSON. And that enables me to show off one more feature down here, um, which is technically called a combined fragment. So this box around these events. Um, in this case, it's indicating that this is a loop. So this is a really nice feature of sequence diagrams for making information display more compact because instead of repeating this information, it's combined into a loop box. So this controller generated JSON two times and got a string response. And you can see another loop down here. Um, I'm using this, this sequence diagram is an app map generated sequence diagram. It also has uh, some really neat interactive features and we'll talk about those in a separate video.